All right, so now we're going to actually do an example of finding an inverse function given a function. So this is our function f of x. So f of x is equal to x over x minus 4. And given that that is f, let's find the inverse. This is the procedure to find the inverse function. So let's follow that procedure. Step one, replace f of x with y. Now, if your equation starts with a y in it, you skip this step. But this, this it doesn't, so I place that, replace that with y. Step two, interchange x and y. In other words, wherever there's a y, make it an x, and wherever there's an x, make it a y. So make that y an x, and make these x's y's. Step three, we now need to solve this for y. So to solve for y, this equation, the first step is to multiply both sides by y minus four. I should probably use a different number than four because my four looks like a y. But let me try to do better writing it. So we multiply both sides by y minus four. On this side, the y minus 4s cancel, and I get x times y minus 4, or y minus 4 times x equals these cancel, I'm left with y. All right, so we're trying to solve for y. Well, in this problem, let's distribute the x. So we get xy minus 4x equals y. Now to solve for y, we want to get the y's on one side of the equation and everything else on the other side. So let me move this y over here by subtracting y. We get xy minus y minus 4x equals y minus y, which is 0. These two terms have a y, so we leave them on the left side. This does not have a y, so we move it to the other side by adding 4x to both sides. When we do that, we get xy minus y equals 4x. Now to solve for y, we got to factor out y. So when I factor y out, I'm left with x minus 1, because we get xy minus y equals 4x. And the last, almost the last step, I divide both sides by x minus 1. These cancel, and I get y is equal to 4x over x minus 1. That really is the inverse function, but let me do the fourth step. The fourth step says replace y with f inverse of x because this only has x's in it, it's a function of x. So let's write this as, let's write this as f inverse is equal to 4x over x minus 1. Now let me explain back to what the, the video before this. What's the relationship between this function and the original function f. So let me just erase some of this. Let's just look at our two, the two functions here. So let's look at the inverse of this function. And the inverse is, let me just rewrite it, 4x over x minus 1. So that's the inverse of that function. Okay. Notice this. Like I said, what is the idea of an inverse function? The idea is when I plug this x value into my function, what comes out is a y value. When I plug this y value into my inverse, it takes me back to the x value I started with. So let's do an example. Let's say x is 5. So when I plug 5 into my function, we get 5 over 
5 minus 4. 5 over 5 minus 4 is equal to, well, this is probably not a good example. Let, let me pick a different number, sorry. Let's say x is, um, let's say x is 6. That's a better one. So if x is 6, we get 6 over 6 minus 4. 6 minus 4 is 2, and 6 over 2 is 3. So when I plug in 6 into here, the y value that comes out is 3. When I plug 3 into the inverse, what do I get? 4 times 3 is 12, over 3 minus 1 is 2, and 12 over 2 is 6. That's the number that I plugged in here to begin with. Yeah? So that's the relationship between the inverse function and the function. You plug your x value into here, what comes out is y. Plug that y value into the inverse, and it takes you right back to the x value that you started with, which was 6. So that shows us what the connection here between those two functions.